Rebecca back with another video, Rebecca from Rebecca Art Tutor. Now the last video that I did was all about editing artwork in Photoshop and I really wanted to show you some of the basic things that I do to clean up an artwork and kind of just do some sort of minor edits. So it's not heavy work in Photoshop, it's just all the things that you might want to do to sort of present it um, digitally and just make some tweaks to enhance the artwork without completely changing it. And in that first video, I covered how to remove a background and how to replace a background with a different color. And I felt that I hadn't really covered all the things that I would do to sort of enhance an artwork because there's, there's many more things I would do to most artworks. So I didn't want to make the first video too long, so I've made a second one. And this one is going to cover how to duplicate a layer and how to add details with the pencil tool. And then I will show you the completion of the artwork, um, what I did with it, which was to make a website banner. So I hope that this is of interest Let's get into it and see what's involved. Let's have a look at cleaning up the edges. Just to say that there are different ways of cleaning up the edges, depending on what type of edge you would like. So for some artworks, I may want to have a feathered edge, a soft edge. So for that, I would use tools like a soft brush or even an eraser. In this artwork here, I'm just looking at creating sharp edges. And I'm going to show you how I create sharp edges. And the way I do this is using the Polygony Lasso tool. So I use this because it's like cutting out and it creates like a cut out kind of look. It is a selection tool and I use it all the time with my collage work. So I've become quite used to using it. Firstly, I zoom in on the artwork so that I can really see the edges. This version that you see here is many times bigger than the original. I use the lasso tool to go along the edges of the artwork and I create a compound shape. So I join the edges and then I click control cut or edit cut and it will cut out everything in that shape. So I simply go through the artwork and clean up the edges so for this piece of art it is very much zoomed in so the original is going to be a lot smaller so i wasn't being too perfectionist about it i start with just cutting out rough shapes and then i go in and refine it with a second kind of cut once you've got the marching ants that's when you have joined the two lines together and it is time to cut. I'm doing this quite quickly because it's something I've become quite used to doing quite fast. I didn't go around every edge, I just went around the edges that I felt were particularly fuzzy looking. Look. Here we see the final piece where I've cleaned up most of the edges. Now let's move on to the next task which is adding a layer. If you watched part one of my video series, you will know that we put the artwork on a separate layer. This can be seen here as layer zero and the background is layer one, which is this movie purple background. I would like to add another layer because I'm thinking of um, adding more leaves. Rather than just add a layer, I actually decided to duplicate a layer. To do this, I went on to layer zero and I could have right clicked and duplicated the layer that way, but I went to the menu and I used copy layer. We can see the new layer is named as layer zero copy. Now you can see that I have another layer on top of the original artwork and it is an exact copy of it. I then decided to flip it horizontally so that the leaves looked a bit different. I then rotated the box to get a slightly different angle. 
I've used the I've used the free transform for um, tool to do this, which is Control T. I'm now just seeing how it looks, trying to find a pleasing composition. Once I was happy with where it looked best, I I dropped it there and left it there. Just to say, it's really important to clean up any edges and make any changes before you duplicate your layer so that you don't have to do work twice. Now let's have a look at adding details. By this I mean just tiny minor additions, like in my case the veins of the leaf. So I started by looking at where I might want to add details. I don't actually want to add too much. So I just zoomed in and looked around the artwork. I then decided to add details with the pencil and here I'm just looking for a colour that would work. So I went to the colour picker and I selected a colour from the artwork that perhaps I could use. I then decided I wasn't sure about the purple so I then opened up the colour picker and started to experiment with different colours for the veins. I eventually decided that a kind of hot coral pink red would look good. So I was going to try that. So there it is in the colour picker. I then choose, uh, chose a pencil um, and I've made it three pixels. So it's a really small point. And I'm going to really zoom in on the artwork on the leaf that I'm going to add the veins to. So I make sure it's nice and zoomed in so I can really see what I'm doing as this is quite fine work. In fact, this is much easier with a, with a pen, a digital pen, but um, I'm actually doing it here with the mouse. So there we have it. We have the veins on the leaf. And here we have the final artwork, which I used for a website banner. Now we have seen what is involved in editing artwork uh, using Photoshop. Of course there are other tools but these videos I'm going to be talking about Photoshop. Some of the tools are quite similar in other apps so you might be able to find that there's a little bit of a crossover with other tools that you could use to edit your artwork. I hope you found that useful and of course there are many other things that I do use Photoshop for. Um, one of the main areas that comes to mind is colour changes. So I am planning another video on that. But if there's anything that you'd like to know, please do comment in the comment section and I should try and create a video around that topic. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do like, subscribe and share the video and I shall see you in the next one.